Hey guys, sticking with the uh, the theme of optical art and obviously optical illusions when it comes to art, what uh, we're going to have a look at today is a kind of staircase going into your piece of paper. So this is one of the easiest drawings you can possibly do, but then the hard bit is obviously finding an angle that makes it look uh, as good as it can look. So you can see here I've tried to position the camera at a point where you can see it, but I'm not really happy with that. If you look at the main picture, the thumbnail of this video, I'm a little bit happier with that angle. But if you stick to what I'm doing and how I tell you to do it, and then once you've completed the actual piece of artwork, you stand up, walk around the table until you've got a really nice angle of it, and then take a picture of your work to show everybody. Uh, obviously, you'll only know what I'm talking about about six or seven minutes from now. So if I just really quickly just take this one away, and I'll show you how to create it, and then hopefully you should be quite happy with it. So what I'm going to start off by doing is drawing my box. So you can draw it however you want. Uh, you know, it just needs to be a square, a rectangle kind of hole. I don't even think it has to be a rectangle hole. What I'm doing here is just freestyling. You could obviously measure it out. But uh, well, it's not a big deal if you don't. If you get it a couple of millimetres off, because you can fix that with the shading anyway. Okay, so there's my rectangle, so my staircase is going to go through that. And then the first thing that you need to do is just mark out where your lines are going to be. I'm going to put one there, and then one, two, three. So you want one line all the way up like so. Like that. So, using your ruler, once again, some nice neat lines. Again, draw them all the way up to the top. None of this really matters uh, because you're going to shade over the bit that you don't need anyway, so don't get too worried about where everything ends. So, you want one line on one side, and then you want three lines going. Like so, nice and simple. All right, and then what you're going to do next is you're just going to ever so slightly uh, shade all these in. So, I mean, I know I say this in every video, but obviously, please believe me when I say this, that I'm not shading to the best of my ability. I'm just kind of getting the shades down so that you're not watching this video for a solid 20, 30 minutes. Uh, and you just get the technique down. And then once you've got the technique down, just look at my my finished demonstration that I showed you at the beginning of the video and then you'll kind of get a feel for what it can look like okay this one here I'm just rushing so that you can see it as fast as possible so it's a bit like a barcode really so that's what your work should look like step one all right and then step two what we're going to do is we're just going to cut in on a bit of an angle on this one and then we're going to do a straight line, angle line, straight line, angle line, straight line, angle line, straight line, like that. Okay? So I haven't actually gone down a lot, but you know, you get the idea. You can you can make this angle a little bit more if you want. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm just gonna do that a little bit more so that you can see the dramatic drop of the staircase, because what's the beauty of this? It's because that's going to be in complete darkness. You won't see it anyway. There you go. So just double check that all of them are correct. All right, and if you make mistakes like I have here and here, it doesn't matter because with this one, you're just simply going to make this one black. Now, when I saw someone do it uh, in lesson a few months ago, they actually did it with black fine liners and it looked amazing absolutely amazing but instead of like doing shades what they did was they did pointer uh, they did pointillism and just added loads of loads of dots sorry stippling that's what i was thinking of. it's not pointillism it's stippling 
So you can see there that obviously now it's starting to look a little bit more like a staircase, okay? And then the last thing that you're going to do is just put the ruler on the top corner and you're just going to have that dragging down over the stairs like that. Can you see that? So top corner, dragging down over the stairs and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pencil on the side for this one and I'm just going to shade over the whole thing like that. I've got that shadow now, okay? So if I just smooth that one over, and then if I maybe went a little bit darker on this, and then I went a little bit harder on one side of the stairs, like so. Now, because I'm mega rushing now, I'm kind of losing the idea but you kind of if I see there look it's a nice optical illusion and like I said to you before you really do have to find like the right angle to kind of you know optimize like how good it looks and like making it look like a stairway if we just get rid of that one and bring in the one that I've just previously done you can see that that one's a little bit better and you can see that obviously that looks like a staircase obviously you can see that it's just a pencil rolling over it it's not real, it's just an optical illusion.